Hey everybody, what's going on? It is Jason with the Board Game Mechanics, and today we're going to take a look at a few rounds of Gnome Hollow. If you want to see our full review, you can click the link in the video description. Otherwise, stick around here, and we'll get playing. Alright, so this is Gnome Hollow all set up for two players. It's going to look similar in a more player game, with a couple exceptions. Um, there's going to be more tiles under this. Uh, at, the, at the beginning of the game, you're going to take two times the number of players. In tiles, you're going to put it under this uh, sunside, sunrise tile. In more player game, there'll be more tiles. There'll be one extra token for all of these except purple. And these two flower tokens will not start up here. They will start off to the side and have to be unlocked as the game goes on. Okay. Other than that, game sets up exactly the same. So, the way that this game works is we are going to be placing tiles around this stump here to try to complete circles, mushroom path circles, to collect mushrooms. Then we're gonna be spending mushrooms to the market. Um, it, the bigger the path we make, we're gonna unlock bonuses, and we're gonna be trying to get flowers and signposts to basically just score as many points as we can, okay? So we're gonna basically just do the turn sequence. On your turn, you're gonna take two tiles from the board and you're gonna place them. All right, so let's go ahead and do some of that. Let's go. And when you place a tile, all of the sides, all the pathways, if there's a pathway, it has to match to another pathway. Grass has to match to grass, okay? So like I did that one. And now I'm gonna do this one. Okay, so I played two tiles. Then if uh, I made a circle, I would do all that. I didn't do that. But now I can move one of my gnomes and do one of the things. I can claim a path that I put down, which is what I'm gonna do. I can go to the flower shop and take one of the flowers that I don't have. The more different flowers you get, the more points you're going to get. I can get activate a signpost if there's one out there, which there isn't. Or I can go to the market to sell mushrooms again, which um, I don't have any mushrooms. So I'm going to go ahead and claim this pathway. Now this is my path. No one else can take it. No one else can play on it without my permission. Okay, and that's my turn. Other play, uh, then we'll refill the, the, the tiles. And then other player, they're going to do the similar thing. I'm going to try to at least show you all the actions and the completion of a circle and all that stuff before I wrap it up. And any symbols that you have right here, um, well, you can see what's going on. All right, so other player, they're going to take two tiles as well. They're going to start trying to make a big path. So let's go like this. Nope, that's too big. Uh... That's too big. I don't want to do that. Let's do this one. So we're going to take this one. And then we're going to take a straight path because I want to try to make a bit. Oh, that's not that big. Uh, let's go this way instead. There we go. All right. And they're going to claim a path because that's all they can do right now. Done. All right. Now back to me. Refill the, the board. It's so easy to forget. Um, it's not the end of the world if you forget, but just fill it up sometime. All right, now I need to get this much, this gnome back. I have to place two tiles. I want to make a small pathway just so we can get some of that going. Let's do this one like this. All right, so that's one. Then I get us doing. Oh, I can't place that there. Hang on, hang on. There we go. All right, remember we had to make all the paths line up. That's one, I think I'm going to start another one. Let's go this way. All right, so I'm gonna, so I completed a, a path. Now I get to claim all the mushrooms because I am on that path. If I completed a circle and I wasn't in there, the mushrooms would go in the middle, but I'm there. So I would get a purple and two orange mushrooms. So two orange and a purple. All right, and then just go here. And then uh, I get to, it's I get to count how many squares or hexes it is. One, two, three, four. However many times you use the center, it doesn't matter, it only counts as one. So I did a four hex, so I can take any of these markers here, the left one, and I get a mark, a four hex. Now I have one point. I'm trying to get as many of these done as I can because that's how you're gonna score a bunch of points. Then I'm gonna take a gnome and I'm gonna claim a path right there. 
I have two gnomes. I didn't have to move that one, but there's no point in staying there because it's full. Then we'll refill the board. And then it's Pink's turn. All right, so Pink is going to, they're gonna to try to complete their pathway. Let's see if they can do it. Let's go this way. I think they need a straight away. Let's go right here like that. Maybe the other way. Nope, can't do that. That's not straight. How about a purple one? There we go. All right, so pink has completed this one. So again, that's one, two, three, four. They did a fiver. So they get to go to a five and they're gonna go here and they get to take a flower that they don't have. So they're gonna take one of these. There we go. All right, and then they're gonna collect their mushrooms. So they get a pink, a red, a purple, and a blue. Okay, put their mushrooms over here. And then they can start another path if they want to, which they probably should. They're just gonna go ahead and start on this one here. They didn't work on it, but that's why they're gonna claim it anyway. Okay, now it's back to my turn. I'm gonna to try to sell on the market at this turn, so hopefully I can do something cool here. So let's see if I can get a purple. Let's go. This way. Nope. Uh, okay, let's go. I can't see around this guy. All right, so let's go. Let's make a curve here. Then we're gonna do a purple. Nope. Let's do a blue. We'll do a blue this way. Nope. Nope. Now let's do another curve. That's two. Okay. So I'm working on it. Okay. Then I'm going to send my gnome to the flower shore to get a flower. And I'm going to take this pink flower. I could have taken the white one, but I was just taking a different one so you can see. All right. Then back to the pink player. And they are going to try to do a really small, let's, maybe we can do a big one. Let's see if we can do a big one. So let's do this. We're going to try to do a real big mama one. It's going to be real big. That's one. And then we're going to go two here. Okay, done. It's going to take a minute to fill, to complete this. Ooh, I don't want to do that. That'll be bad. Um, let's maybe not do that. That could be bad. Let's go. Let's go this way. There we go. Maybe we can start. Okay, that's one. Uh, then we will do, let's get some more pink. Pink is good. So I could go like this, I think. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we're getting closer to f closing this. So one more and I can close it. Okay. That is that. Uh, and then I have that claim to have another gnome. So I think I'm just going to go and send my other gnome over here. Take the other flower that I don't have. And I'm going to put it here. Let's see if I can slide this up without making a big mess. Okay, there we go. Put that flower there. Okay. Now back to blue. Blue is going to close this off with a blue right here. Probably this way. Man, why are these so hard? Where are the straight ones? No straight ones here. That's super light. Oh, there. This one. This one's straight. There. There we go. Closed it. All right. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's a fiver. So I can take this, go to a five, and I am going to put up a signpost. And I get to collect all my mushrooms. So three reds, two blues. Nope, two reds. The one red's not connected. Two, one blue, and one purple. 
looks like they're connected. Like it looks like that blue is connected, but it's not. Okay, then I'm gonna get a sign post and I'm going to send up this orange sign post, which is going to actually give me the bonus now. So I get three yellow. Okay, then for my action, I'm going to send my gnome to the market and I'm gonna spend five yellows, one, two, three, four, five, to get one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, seven points. And then no one else can do that again. And to take mark points, you're going to use these cool little tokens here, little trinkets, okay? And that's it. Then we'll refill and we'll keep going. And that's how the game's gonna keep playing. Uh, and one other thing I should have done is, I didn't play my second tile, but that's fine. You get the gist. Um, one other thing I should have done, whenever ever you do your second, fourth, and sixth, um, circle you get to unlock a flower so i would take this wild tile which is a tile i can place as an extra tile on my turn it can basically it could go here and then it could close that gap for me and i get the flower and then the other flower goes to the market for other people to be able to to buy and acquire so that's something i should have done that i didn't so this would say over here normally you can play two tiles but now i can play three because i have this wild one okay and now, as another action, Pink can go visit this signpost and get three yellow mushrooms. And there they go. So that's how the game's gonna keep playing until um, someone has all the flowers or all their markers done or the bag is empty. Uh, and then if you meet one of the other requirements other than the bag empty or any requirement, you're gonna put those in there, take an extra turn, do another round, and then add up points. And points are going to be these. Um, you're going to add up how many flowers you have. So this is the score for flowers. This is the score for those. Um, I think there might be one other thing. What else is there? I can't, I can't ever remember the scoring. Flower score, ring score, and treasure. Yeah, that's it. So flowers, the rings, and treasure. That's it. And then whoever has most points after all that's said and done is the winner. And that is how you play Gnome Hollow. Again, if you want to see our full review, you can click the video description. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And as always, keep gaming.